Coming up. And this thing's totally armored. Rich goes from working on a triple seven to the world of 007 as he heads down to San Antonio to build <laughs> high tech armored vehicles. That's so strange. Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. Yeah, that's what I thought. A car or truck doesn't provide any protection if somebody starts shooting at you, and the end result can be really messy. So to be safe, you're gonna need something built to withstand a lot more punishment. I can't wait to check this place out. It's Texas Armor Incorporation. It's one of the finest armored vehicle builders in the world. Hey, Javier, how you doing? Pretty good. How about yourself? Welcome to Texas Armory. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. Ready to bust on knuckles? I'm ready. Bearing? I'm ready, Sounds man. Great. I'm Sounds ready great. to check it out. The way they turn a stock vehicle into an armored fortress is badass. It's a seven-step process that takes about three months to complete. Now, any ride can be armored, including high-end luxury and sports cars. The idea behind the armoring is to keep you safe and the vehicle running during an ambush so you can get the heck out of Dodge. At any point in time, we have about 25, 30 cars in here based on, you know, working on production. Okay, there's about 25 in here now. There's about 25 in here now. Turn this right side up. Walk out. The first step involves removing the entire interior of the vehicle. Thing's kind of heavy for a seat. There are three types of armoring. Armor plating, spectra shield, and a nylon ballistic material. The armor plating protects areas like the wheel wells and firewall, and each piece is hand cut from custom patterns. Well, now, if I cut this right, it gets to go on the car, right? If it's cut it's right. Cut, if it's cut right. I'm gonna get my first one cut right, just in case I want to come back here put an application in. And I can pick That's that right. up? Yeah, you go ahead and take it over and it's a little hot. I thought you said I can yeah. pick it up with gloves. Oh, you can, but you know, just take it off. You got a hole in your glove, there. dude. Big baby. <laughs> now, is this thing cut well? Because uh, I cut it. You cut it? Yes, I uh, cut it. Is it going to work? Do what? Let me look at look it. Look at that. We'll make it work. I might not want to look at that part. Now, you want to go ahead and run the beat on it? Yeah. You've got a way bigger head than I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got the cap on too, so you can adjust it in the back. The Spectra Shield is used to armor the doors. It's a composite material that has the strength of steel, but it's lighter and more easily cut to match complex patterns. Now, this is the Spectra Shield's different. Prices, I'm sure, for different thicknesses. And how much exactly. is this stuff worth right uh, here? It's about two thousand dollars. For this one piece? Yeah. Two thousand bucks. Yeah. Wow. What does that come down to an inch? <laughs> and each piece is checked to make sure it fits around all the electronic crap in the door. Okay, so you guys cut it out all around the door handle and stuff like yeah. that. Now, what do you do as far as like where this hole is okay. for the protection? Okay, we we put a five sixteen armor plate cover all this. The floor and roof are covered with more ballistic nylon. It's incredibly strong and easily installs under the carpet and headliner. And this is the way it comes, just from the factory, right? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. And this is how many ply? 20 ply. Dude, I think you got ripped off. This looks like 19 ply to me. It does. I think you're a ply short. You need to call those people. All right. An AK-47 round travels at over 1,500 miles per hour, and it gets really pissed when it hits something, like a watermelon. So to protect the average melon, the glass is replaced with an amazingly strong laminated product. It uses a series of glass and polycarbonate layers to stop a bullet cold. And what's it cost? Uh, which will let you probably look in the brain about 6,000, 7,000. So you're protected inside. But if gunfire disables the vehicle, you're a stationary target. So other key areas have to be protected. This starts with putting in run-flat tires that use an inner rim to keep things rolling in case the original tires get shot out. And keeping a bullet or a piece of shrapnel from piercing your gas tank can really make your day. So it's completely wrapped in ballistic nylon. And as well as protecting the gas tank, check this out. All steel battery box. If any gunfire hits it, nothing's gonna happen to the battery. And at the front of the car, we've got this grill. It's fins so the air goes through it, but the bullets are gonna hit it and go straight down. That's incredible. 
For obvious reasons, it's pretty important that the completed armored vehicle not look like it is. And that's what's so damn cool about it. Nobody can tell. But what's the real fear factor that drives a purchase? Kidnapping for ransom is a big problem outside of the U.S. So you get very wealthy people that, you know, their wife, their kid, even themselves get kidnapped and they, you know, the kidnappers want a million dollars. Well then, instead they can buy a vehicle for 150000 Now this one's finished. Yeah. It's uh, one of the top of the line cars. Mercedes S550. Sweet. And, and this thing's totally armored. Totally armored. You green. can't even tell. I mean, yeah, look at green. it. You, there's no way you would tell if you were going down the road that this was an armored car. This car, they requested several options, just like James Bond. Hey, you ready, Rich? Yeah, man, hit it. All right, let's do it. <laughs> the smoke screen. Oh, my God. If the smoke screen doesn't stop them, the road spikes will. These look like the nails my dad used to make me straight when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. There's one other little surprise for the unsuspecting bad guy. Hey, Brad. Bitch! <laughs> Electrified door handles. I think they should charge more for these cars. <laughs> okay, enough of this fun and game stuff. Can these armored vehicles really stop around from an AK-47? I got a whole clip full of doubt, so somebody's gonna have to prove it to me. Next, Rich gets his wish as we put the armoring to a real Texas test. Okay, that's our driver. An AK-47 and a watermelon? Did it miss? No, he hit it. What could go wrong? Down in San Antonio, Rich has been working alongside the guys at Texas Armoring building amazing armored vehicles. But will the armoring stand up to the punishment of an AK-47? Rich has his doubts, so he challenged them to prove it. The guys in the shop armored an SUV door and took it out to a nearby ranch. The armoring consisted of bulletproof glass with spectra shield and armored plating in the door. Naturally, Rich brought along a watermelon. Oh, perfect. Okay, that's our driver. There you okay. go. You got melon, I got road rage. Let's I got an AK-47 here. <laughs> yes. Now this baby, mostly every terrorist use throughout the world. We got spectra shield on the left side. Okay. And we got armor plate, steel plate on the right side. Okay. Take why don't we take. try? Why don't we put one in each? Let's do it. Okay. Let's see what happens. You got it. Okay, to the Go right. To your right. It looks like it stopped it. Looks like it. So if we put one in the glass and hit the melon, it's not gonna. The melon's not gonna be hurt. Hey, melon's perfect place. Let's go check it out. Let's see what you did. Yeah, you got two wow. rounds in the body. Okay, look at yeah, this. Yeah, you got look the spectra this. here and the steel plate here. Right. Got the glass. Look at that. Watermelon's not bleeding. The watermelon's fine. Look at that. It didn't yeah. even it didn't even crack the back of the glass, no. man. You can see the uh, the spread sh uh, shield uh, caught the bullet. It actually acts like a catcher's mitt. Wow. The armor plate. You can see it nothing, just nothing. doesn't leave a mark. It absorbs it and it uh, disintegrates. Same thing in the glass. So it disintegrates the bullet. Right. So if we look in here, you're not even going to see the bullet. You'll see little particles of lead, as you can see the darkness. Oh, man, that's crazy. Look at that. This you got the I coolest do. job this in the world. This I has do. been the best work day of my life, man. And we get watermelon. It, it at the saves end. people's lives. It does. Okay, so I got to change the brakes on a Boeing 777, build an armored vehicle, and fire an AK-47 at a watermelon. Is life good or what? Don't touch that. Remind me. Don't touch that. Now what is that? You don't need to know. It says fuel jettison. Don't touch. I mean, it's pretty obvious it's an ass saver. That's what it is. And I talked to the guys over there, and they said this is what they sit on, because a lot of the times the edges of these metal doors will hurt their ass. What really? ply are these? They're super like thick. Like a million? Yeah, super super thick. 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 Yeah. Yep. That's a measurement in Alabama.